Driverless vehicles, also known as autonomous, automated or self-driving cars, are no longer science fiction. The technology is here and several companies are already testing them on the roads. Chief Operation Officer Ravi Reddy shares some unique features that are currently available on autonomous cars. Hi Ravi, welcome to Tech Trends. Thank you CFA, it's my pleasure. So tell me, what are some of the interesting technologies in today's car? I find the technology to be helping us a lot. The first thing that concerns me is security. The cars are a lot more secure nowadays. Uh, the automobile industry is moving towards security and standment. For someone like me who is big into music, it helps a lot that I'm able to stream from my phone and uh, I can uh, sync my phone in, I have the contacts in, I can play my iPod or my iPhone and get better quality sound. And uh, even when there are children around, you have rare ski screens that kind of help you off, uh, keep the kids entertained. And the best part is the cars are even moving in into technology where they have sensors that can break automatically, it can prevent accidents and uh, we are even moving towards driverless cars and that's one of the disruptive technologies that's topic of the top 12 disruptive technologies I guess that's one of them. What's your take on things like driverless cars and how soon do you think we'll see them in the streets of Africa? Oh, I guess that's a while from now. Uh, but you never know how things would happen. If someone told me six years ago or even five years ago that we are going to be having a 25 MB uh, connection in Nigeria or fiber optic, I would have said no, no way. But well, it's a possibility now. And um, you never know. Probably all the time that Africa lost, Nigeria lost, would be making up in the next five years. And I really hope we do that. So tell me, for an average car user today that wants to buy a car, what are some of the technologies they should look out for? I think the basics, a good security system, a push-button start, a decent entertainment package, very safe features as airbags. These are the mandatory ones, I feel. And they're not luxuries anymore. So how do you think the car owners will cope in the era of IoT, Internet of Things? I guess even children nowadays are a lot more progressive technologically. It's day in every part of our life. Uh, even something as basic as air conditioners could be controlled with Wi-Fi. And even before you could reach your home, you could turn them on. So, Isn't that scary? It is, but in a way, it helps. I mean, there's always this technology uh, black hole that we face. We don't know where we are, who is watching us, who is listening to us. But then I feel that that's a small price we pay. Uh, even elders, I see them with iPads, people over 60s, trying to blend into technology. And I guess that's a way forward. We can't fight it. Some would argue that some of these technologies that you see are interesting are actually dangerous. What do you think? I feel it's a small price that we pay for technology and for advancement. Um, it's not a new thing. Most of the countries have metro trains that run driverless and I've been in a few of them and felt very safe. Uh, yes, there is a possibility of something going wrong, but then if you're going to be fighting and looking at negativity, I don't think we'll have progress. And there's also a surprising fact that, that most of us know. Uh, many of the, uh, almost all the airlines, just the pilot is uh, operating it for probably 20 to 30 minutes of the entire flight duration and rest of it is not a pilot, so I guess. Driverless cars will need to flexibly adjust to other cars on the road. But how can this be achieved? For countries like Nigeria that are quite quick in adopting new technology, what sort of regulation do you think we should have a place before these technologies start coming to the streets? I always felt that, as you rightly mentioned, Nigerians had been very quick in adopting technologies. They had been 4G phones even before there was a 4G network here. Um, I feel it, people have to lay more emphasis on getting the infrastructure right for these to work 
probably have better internet and stronger security systems, better online payments. And I get that I could see changes around now. And uh, I'm hopeful that we will be progressing a lot more than what we are there. My friend lost his car a few weeks ago and it hasn't been found. What technology do you think would have helped him to recover the car? Uh, in my previous employment, where we used to run a fleet of vehicles, we had instances of uh, a vehicle being attacked. There was an armed robbery and uh, two vehicles stolen. We were able to recover them uh, in the right time and it was quite a feat. Or we had just advanced trackers in them that helped us where the geofencing was better. And uh, I guess it also depends on what sort of devices you use in your vehicles that matter a lot. Lots of people think that basic tracking is enough, but if your friend had better tracking systems where they work beyond GPS, GPRS, I felt you would have had a better chance of recovery. So Ravi, in what ways do you think technology is disrupting your business? I wish there was a better channel of uh, sales, for example. For In some countries, you could even purchase your car online or make a booking, uh, have better bandwidth, where the website would be a lot more interactive and the channels how you access information like your through your telephones or your tablets could have been better. But uh, I'm happy to say that we are one of the first dealerships. Metropolitan Motors is the first in the country to be on an online platform, conga.com, and we are retailing spare parts there. So it's helping us and in future we are going to be having very shortly, maybe in the next two months, we are going to come up with a web application where people can book the car for service online, make a payment online and we are going to have a dedicated app that's going to be supported uh, on uh, Apple, Android and Windows platform wherein people can make a booking, track their car, have the service history, make payments, everything through their mobile. I guess that's quite a start. What is one of this feature that interests you the most? One thing that really excited me a lot when I got my Apple Watch was that there are some brands with which uh, you can open your car, access your car, lock your car through your Apple Watch. I think that's something that really excited me a lot. And I'm also glad, being an Apple fan, that CarPlay is very much accessible in the car. So these are you asked for one, but sorry, I had to say that too. <laughs> you, but exciting. the thing is, what if somebody loses his Apple Watch, can't an intruder use it to gain access to the car? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, uh, Apple Watch is pretty safe as it's uh, got a unique passcode and it's linked to your phone. So the security level is multiple and I haven't heard of any instances where uh, people could access someone's watch or they could steal information. That's not been the case with Apple, or at least I haven't heard of them. Other than all the technology you just mentioned, what are the other things that should be in place for people to really enjoy their modern cars? I strongly feel that a good infrastructure is crucial. Good roads, pretty decent roads where I've seen top of the range, I've even seen Rolls Royce on the roads, but there are no proper roads to drive them on, which is a big challenge. The second thing are the driving skills. Uh, everyone seems to be in a hurry and uh, I would advise people to drive safe and the government should also take initiatives to ensure that they're doing that now. Uh, that the driving licenses are biometric or at least where they cannot be duplicated and people go through the process of learning to drive which would help us a lot and makes roads safer places. Now this is just me. I imagine the driverless car on the street of Lagos. Uh, how would it deal with all the troubles, the traffic lights? Would these cars have their own special lane or do we use the same lane like every other uh, driver on the road? Uh, the idea is to have them on regular roads uh, where they have sensors, where they would sense if there are obstacles or if there is a traffic light or if maintain a safe distance between cars. That's a whole idea to even take them to be probably in a late future where they go beyond roads where you, 
you even they could even almost fly. That's <laughs> the end idea, I must assume. <laughs> what we have seen in movies, probably 20 years ago, where we thought, as kids, we thought internet was something that's not possible. But I guess we are getting it. I mean, Star Wars, most of the things that we saw in Star Wars or Back to the Future, <laughs> we are able to see them in reality. Uh, I guess we would get there. It's just a matter of time and development. And the IT is moving at a faster pace than what it was earlier. So Thank you for being on Tech Trends today. It's my pleasure, Sir Fay. And thanks, Shams. We have for you on this edition of the show. Let's continue the conversation online, so do follow us on social media. You can watch these and other editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog, techsmart.ng. For Tech Trends, I am Chukomeka Agbata.